So what is visual search, and how can it help us to understand attention? Visual search is a family of tasks for studying visual attention. It uses a set of objects as a stimulus. Some of the objects are the targets, while the others are distractors. A typical paradigm asks the participant to find the target from a stimulus. The time taken to detect the target is recorded as the reaction time. So what are the dependent and independent variables? The dependent variable is always the reaction time, but the independent variable can be the total set size, the frequency of the target, and many others. The way that the dependent and independent variables relate to each other can also be influenced by a third dimension of variables, such as the number of features that define the target and the complexity of the stimulus objects. Some of the most influential theories in attention have been verified using visual search experiments. Take the feature integration theory as an example. The theory proposes that the processing of basic features is parallel across the space. Attention is then required to select and combine the features in serial for each location in order to identify the objects. This predicts that the detection speed for targets defined by a single feature should not change with the total set size, whereas the detection speed for targets defined by a conjunction of features should drop as the set size increases. The results obtained were consistent with the feature integration theory. As the total set size increased, the reaction time stayed constant for single feature defined targets, but the reaction time increased for targets defined by a conjunction of features. However, other visual search experiments using more complex stimulus revealed that face detection may bypass the attention mediated feature binding steps. This leads to the question of whether attention selects the sensory input before or after the high level processing. The answer is that detection can be either an early or late selection process depending on the type of stimulus the brain is dealing with. And finally, this is how visual search tasks can be used to investigate the functions and nature of attention.